Hi there, I'm Jill Chivers from Shop Your Wardrobe and 16 Style Types. And I'm Imogen Lamport from Inside Out Style and 16 Style Types. And today we wanted to talk about style rut. It's something, you know, a lot of women get into at some stage of their life. It's something that we've heard a lot about in the last couple of years. I really think that having been in lockdowns and working from home, that we see probably more style right than we've ever seen in our lives before. There's lots of reasons we get into them, but it's been a huge thing these last couple of years. And, and it started off, you know, the beginning of the pandemic, people would say, oh, you know, I've got my daytime pyjamas and my nighttime pyjamas and I basically never get out of my pyjamas and I'm never going to wear anything but active wear again. Um, you know, it's, I've always got to be comfortable all the time. And then within, you know, some period of months, there was starting to be a dissatisfaction in what we were wearing and going, you know, actually, I'm really sick of wearing these you know my, my pajamas and then of course you start to see the people taking you know their rubbish out in a ball gown <laughs> <laughs> but then there's been in this last you know they talk a lot like in the last fashion season about dopamine dressing and this is where it's we're bringing in bright colors we're bringing in some fun back into our wardrobes because we feel like we've been through a really you know, that real rut so we're somehow trying to you know up that dopamine make us feel good by using our clothes in that way. Yeah, almost like a sense of compensating. You know, sometimes when I think about fashion cycles, which I, I think about from time to time, because as you know, I'm, I'm fairly anti-fashion cycles, very pro-style, but not so much fashion. I think about it as a compensating mechanism. Yes, it's a it reflects back to us, but when the cycle shifts, particularly when it's a big shift, it can be uh, heralding. Um, the the reverse or something vastly different from what we've been through. And this whole idea of style ruts and, you know, we've seen a lot of blandness. Blandness not only in the, the shape and silhouette and the fa fabric construction of what we're wearing, it's a, a version of pyjamas, you know, yoga pants, whatever it is, track pants, um, to now seeing a great deal more of variety that's available. I see that as that sort of compensating, that, that shifting away. But there's this whole idea of what is a star rut? How do, how do you know when you're in a star rut? You know, thinking about this for myself, what does it mean? Have I ever been in a star rut, you know? So I think this is an interesting thing because we get to de determine this for ourselves. Your star rut might not be a star rut to me at all. Something that for me is, is bringing a positive. It might be about stability or consistency or that, that positive through line. I can always see the evidence of my style in whatever I'm wearing. That's a positive to me. To you could be like style death. Um, you know, we've talked about uniform dressing, whether it's an actual uniform or a self-imposed version of the uniform. These are all interesting uh, sort of related topics to a star rut because when I hear star rut, I think, oh, that's something you don't want to be in. When you're in that, that's not a good place. I thought, making an assumption here, what do you think, Imogen? Is being in a star rut a negative thing? I think it's a negative when you define it as a rut. If you aren't feeling good, a rut does not feel good to you. Mm -hmm. So you can be consistent and you could have created your own version of a uniform. You, like I look at it, Anna Winter. She basically has been wearing the same hairstyle, the same glasses, the same version of a uniform of some sort of patent dress every day for years if not decades where honestly it does not change much over time it's pretty much the same she obviously doesn't feel like she's in a style right because she keeps wearing it and she's got access to every piece of clothing in the universe so she wants she's to the something. biggest wardrobe in the world yeah she could do something different at the drop of a hat if she wanted to so she doesn't feel like she's in a style right so I think to me it's how you feel about your style that if you're not feeling good about it, I would describe that as a rut in some way. Um, yeah. So I think it's very different from consistency. Now, for some of us, you know, going, you know what, I've worn the same, you know, two pairs of jeans and three tops for the last six months. I'm not feeling good in my style. Yeah. That is a rut. Um, yeah. and, and it's, you know, like if I'm feeling like I've got no variety, I've lost all sense of variety and I used to have it and I'm just not doing it I would go that would be a rut but it's 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 your defined it so I think it's it's your word rather than somebody else defining it for you and I think that's what's really important to think about with style right and, and this is where sometimes is we can just get into a habit mm. and it becomes unconscious 
where yes. we get dressed and, and look and habits we, our brain needs habits because our brain needs to have time to do other things so we mm. develop habits to actually aid our brains in being more mm. creative and doing other things in our lives but it's when that i'm getting dressed on autopilot every day and nothing's changed for a long time and i no longer feel good about it that's yeah. when i define that as a style right and and that's what can happen is that sometimes too is these things come because we're in different periods of our lives. So when I think about this, two of the core human needs are stability and variety, which are the opposite of each other. So mm -hmm. often when we are in a period where nothing is stable, and I would say the last few years, we've had very little stability. It's been emotionally unstable. It's been, you know, financially unstable. There's been, a, you know, politically unstable. A lot of stuff has been going on in the last few years where we have felt like it's on shifting sands all the time and I don't know where I want. And this is why I think the last few seasons we've seen in wardrobe and like fashion seasons, it's been some of the worst fashion seasons I've ever seen. Most mm. boring is because people are buying the most stable. It's like they're in a style route where they go, I'm just going to wear my active wear or my tracksuit or my, it, it's nothing's very colorful. Nothing's very shaped. There's nothing extreme about anything. And so mm. it's been this kind of, and, and very easy to get into a rut. Oh, we are still wearing, you know, whatever we had in our wardrobe left from 2019. Mm. <laughs> and we've moved on a few years and we've suddenly gone, wait a minute, like I've really done nothing with my style in the last few years and I'm not happy anymore. I'm feeling like, you know, it's time for a change versus when we're in those periods of, of where the world is more stable. And sometimes it can be just the whole world. Other times it can be our own personal world. Um, so, you know, any period of things like divorce or relationship or illness, all those things that bring instability into our world, we generally are reaching for stability in other parts of our world versus when we have everything stable, everything's going along, even keel, this is when we start reaching for variety in our wardrobe. And we might actually, it might be when we've hit stability that we start, or even when we've just come out of instability to stability that we start to go, oh, am I in the style right? because that's, that's a very good point isn't it because that's when we we think about okay a massive transformation has occurred in my life my style is representing where I was not where I am and I think that is a, a wonderful invitation to reinvent your style either in some transformative um, you know significant way or sometimes it's much more incremental uh, but when our style doesn't reflect our life this is when we can feel this sense of dissonance this sense of disconnect there's something not resonating. Um, but when we try and do too much at the one time, we, we just have too much variation going on. And this is, I think, when we can make mistakes in our style that we later regret. You know, we, we do something massive, we dye our hair blue, or we cut it all off, or we have very expensive extensions put on, or, you know, we throw at half or three quarters of what we own and we completely radically change what we're wearing perhaps influenced by somebody who doesn't understand the deeper elements that are at play and this is where we can feel like we were on shifting sands and, and now we're in quicksand we've actually gone in the opposite direction than what we wanted to do so you know it's it's not exactly a paradox but there are many different elements at play when it comes to what's happening in your world and and how those changes invite you to make changes in your style. Yeah. So, so it's one of those things to look at your own style and thinking, am I in a rut or not? If you're particularly happy, probably not in a rut. But if you haven't changed anything for a long time, it may be worthwhile asking yourself, am I in a rut? Now, because this is, can come down to your personality, that there are people who love that stability and they may not notice so much that the world's passed by. And if you're wearing, you know, a fashion trend from a decade ago it might be it's starting to look dated on you and it's not working as well as it used to um, so you might feel okay in those clothes but maybe people aren't treating you in the way you'd like and you don't even realize it because you haven't made any changes um, mm -hmm. so this is why like if you if nothing has changed um, in some years it's worthwhile sometimes reflecting going should there be some changes or not you know, am I stuck in a rut and I just haven't thought about it because other things have been going on in my life. And related to style ruts are style rules, um, you know, and, and what you even think when you hear the term style rules. 
and you know part of our program your type of style our year-long online program is devoted to our style rules what are they what do they mean to you how important are they how do you use them do you eschew them do you embrace them um, and our entire program is designed to have you think about feel about and experience your style in a whole new way but this whole idea of style ruts and what they mean to you and what's serving you and what isn't. It's all part of the year-long conversation that we have and the discovery that you are invited to undertake when it comes to your style. And we can promise you it'll be like nothing you've ever done when it comes to exploring your style before because we don't just include the physical elements, the style expression part, although that's obviously included, but there's a huge component about that internal motivation and that's what's missing from, for a lot of women when it comes to style education is, is this internal thing of, of what do I actually need? What are my really deep psychological needs and how are they being met in the style education that I'm getting? And, and we offer that with your type of style. Yeah, so there's lots to think about. It's, you know, are you in a rut? Have you been in a rut? Are you changing? We'd love to hear your thoughts. And of course, if you're interested, we'd love to have you in the Your Type of Style program as well. 